Jai Beam. It's such a pleasure to say Jai Beam here in the United Nations. Jai Beam. Wow. When the slogan of Jai Bhim was raised in the United Nations, the whole started echoing with the applause. This video clip that you saw came from the United Nations, where Baba Saheb Dr. Ambedkar was remembered and his great works were praised. We all must be feeling very happy to hear that the slogan of Jai Bhim resonated in the United Nations in front of the whole world. But we have to look beyond just the slogan of Jai Bhim. In fact, Dr. Suresh Jiyengde, a famous scholar coming from Dalit Bahujan background, was invited to speak about Baba Saheb Dr. Ambedkar in this United Nations program. But later he was stopped from speaking in the United Nations. Suresh Jiyengde himself has told about this. He wrote on Twitter. I was one of the main speakers in the original program. A day before the event, I was asked to send the draft of my speech. No one else was asked the same. My speech primarily drew upon Baba Saheb Dr. Ambedkar's ideas. The speech was returned, censoring major portion of it. The next day, they didn't even allow me to get on the stage. The other two scholars who spoke were not Dalits. One told me we have to play safe so as not to lose the opportunity. Jai Bhim indeed sounds good in the United Nations. It means Dr. Suraj Yengde was stopped from speaking on Dr. Ambedkar. Dr. Suraj Yengde is a Harvard scholar and author of the famous book Caste Matters. He is known worldwide for his anti-caste work. So if he had spoken on Dr. Ambedkar in the United Nations, we feel that it would have been easier for the world to understand Dr. Ambedkar. That's why what happened to Suraj Yengde is totally wrong. Why can't we tell our own stories? Why always someone else have to tell our story? Who better than a person who is suffering can tell about the suffering? No one else. And perhaps this would have been the reason that the Indian people and the people of the United Nations associated with this program stopped Dr. Suraj Yengde from speaking. Because it is possible that they are afraid that when Suraj talks about Dr. Ambedkar's life, he will emphasize on his anti-caste movement and will tell the whole world how serious the caste problem is in India. Even the so-called progressive upper caste of the India do not want that the problem of caste should be recognized as a global problem like racism and the entire international community should, you know, take measures to prevent it. In such a situation, it seems that uh, a very uh, superficial, very artificial that uh, two speakers of known Dalit backgrounds are talking about Dr. Ambedkar instead of Dr. Suraj Yengde. Christopher S. Quinn teaches Buddhism and world religion at Harvard University. He has authored and edited many works on Buddhism. Uh, he presented a comparative study of Dr. Ambedkar, work of Dr. Ambedkar and Martin Luther King, who is a superhero of blacks in America. Our second speaker, Mr. Dilip Maske, is an Indian but not a Dalit. He lives in America and runs an NGO named Foundation for Human Horizon. In his speech, he compared Dr. Ambedkar to religious prophets like Moses and Jesus. If Dr. Suraj Yengde was allowed to speak, it would have been easier for us to understand Dr. Ambedkar and his contribution for his people. The world needs to know the Dalit perspective of Dr. Ambedkar, not Savarna's perspective. First, Dr. Suraj Yengde was invited, then speech was called, censorship was applied in it, and then he was stopped from speaking. Is this done just by looking at his caste? If not so, why he was stopped? This uh, question should be answered by the United Nations and the organizers of the event. Whoever is responsible for this should be condemned. What do you have to say about this? What's your opinion? Do write by commenting. You are requested to subscribe our channel also. My name is Sumit Chauhan and my colleagues Azra and Moit are helping me with this story. See you in the next video. Jai Bhim. Thank you.